think my go-to favorite look is definitely what I have on right now. A focus on skin, brows, a good lash, and a nude lip. I have a birthmark kind of in this area. Without makeup on, it's very, very prominent. So I used to be very embarrassed to go outside without makeup. As I got older, I just kind of learned to embrace all of my insecurities because whether I love them or not, they're still gonna stick with me. I wear my skin proudly outside and I just try to ignore the haters. I'm someone who really enjoys taking off my makeup. I find it's very therapeutic for me. I never go to sleep with my makeup on. That is like a no-no in my book. This is gonna be a little bit different. I normally obviously don't have my hijab on when I'm taking off my makeup. So it might be a little bit difficult getting around the edges, but we're still gonna do it. So I'm gonna be going in with the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. It is kind of like a thicker balm, and when you put it on, it just melts away your makeup. I first started wearing makeup when I was 12. Going into high school, I got my first foundation because I obviously couldn't afford the high ends. I went for a drugstore, and the thing about drugstore makeup back in the day was that they never really had a shade for me. So I always thought because they didn't have darker shades, then I would now have to use a lighter shade. I still wore it, I thought I looked great, but over time, you know, through watching YouTube videos and just kind of loving my skin a lot more, I found products that worked for me better. I have like molten chocolate all over my hands right now. I am gonna wipe this mess off. <laughs> Try not to get it all over my scarf. When I first started wearing makeup, I got into blue eyeliner and blue eyeshadow. So now when I look back at photos, I'm like, girl, what is you doing? But I loved it and I didn't let anyone tell me otherwise. Thank God I got better because <laughs> if I was still doing that like blue smoky eye, that would not be cute. Thing with cleansing balms too is that sometimes the balm gets in your eye. I'm like, can I see right now? They're a little blurry, but we're good. I always go and double cleanse. So this one is by Skin Fix. It's their foaming oil cleanser. I'm just gonna apply this onto the skin so that you can get the rest off. Now, I'm not gonna say I wasn't confident. I was a confident little girl. But in terms of like looking at magazines, I never saw anyone who looked like me. I always thought maybe I'm never gonna be beautiful enough for the standard of America. Nowadays, I think it's so great that Little girls, little black girls, black Muslim girls can grow up and see people in the magazine or online or on YouTube that look like them. I really hope it's not just a trend right now and that it's something that sustains itself over time because that has definitely been needed. Straight after cleansing, I always have to go in with a toner and this just kind of like rebalances the skin and makes sure that the tightness is gone and gets rid of any other makeup left over. Back when I was in elementary school, I loved playing sports, but you know, the thing with being outside all the time is that I would get so dark and because I wear the hijab, there would be this like really, really deep, deep hijab tan line. But anytime that I would take off my hijab and I'd be around family, they would always call me a certain word in my language, shankilla. Basically it means like dark girl. It was a very negative connotation and I hated that. It kind of like deterred me from playing sports because I didn't want to be outside and I didn't want to get darker because for whatever reason, people didn't think that was beautiful. People in the West, go to tanning beds, but the second you're dark skin and you're darker than you're supposed to be, it's a bad thing. I always go in with an essence. This one is my personal fave. It's the Fresh Black Tea Kombucha Facial Treatment. There is just so much in the air that is so bad for your skin. So this basically just kind of acts as a shield. So the next step for me is serums. I have two over here that I like to mix and the first one is the Caudalie Vino Perfect Serum. And then the second, which I also really, really love and have been using for a long time is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. And this one just has like hyaluronic acid. So it really plumps and hydrates the skin. In the Caudalie one, it just kind of gives that beautiful radiance. I have a lot of hyperpigmentation around my mouth and a couple dark spots. So it really helps to lighten those as well and just kind of overall give you a glow. When I personally started my YouTube channel, I was probably one of the first women of color hijabis on the platform because I realized no one online kind of looked like me. And it's so beautiful to finally be able to see us be represented and be happy and flourish and glowing and just, just killing it. So next step is moisturizer. It's the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. And it's really cute because it has its own little spatula up at the top. 
Although there has been a lot of amazing, beautiful representation, we definitely have a long way to go. People always say, well, if you're wearing the hijab, why are you wearing makeup? I wear makeup because it makes me feel beautiful because I enjoy it. Over the next couple years, I would really just love to see the makeup shaming stop. So finally, I know you guys are probably like, how many products does this girl use on her face? <laughs> I use a lot. I like to go in with an eye cream and then a lip balm so that my lips stay nice and juicy and my eyes are nice and plump when I wake up. For eye cream, I use the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Eye. For lip balm, I use the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is my go-to lip sleeping mask. You guys can now see the birthmark that I was mentioning earlier. I did not love it. I was looking into ways that I could get rid of it, but the second that I kind of just changed that mindset and looked at it as a way that makes me look different, something that's unique to me, that's when I truly started loving it. It's something that I was born with and something that I am gonna live with for the rest of my life. Beauty isn't one specific standard. Wearing the hijab makes me feel beautiful. My skincare makes me feel beautiful. Taking care of my body makes me feel beautiful. Beauty is just who you are as a person. Thank you so much for watching Refinery29. For more videos, click here, and to subscribe, click here.